Hi everyone, happy Friday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Sterling Baseball. Brand new release, just dropped today. This, These two half case breaks that we're about to do, Random Team 1 and then in a separate video, Random Team 2. This is all we have right now, folks. But we'll try to get some more, so keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. There are a couple combos. We didn't list the combos here. I put it in the chat, though. Seem to be no objections. Rockies Brewers will be comboed and Indians uh, Nationals will be comboed. So there you go. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Appreciate it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Three and a two, five times. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, we've got a couple Chris's down to a Charles. Two, uh, three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, we got the Royals down to my Dodgers. So both are after five, right? Yeah, there's five right there. There's five down there. Good luck. Chris M., you have the Royals and the Orioles. Charles with the Yankees and Padres. Chris with the Rangers. Matt with the A's. Jason with the Astros. Mike with the Pirates. Peter with the Diamondbacks and the Rays. Matt, combo team, Indians and Nationals. Chris with the Mariners. Last spot, Mojo, Phillies. Megan, you have the Giants. Chris Miller with the Angels. Matt with the Cubs. Charles with the Tigers. Oliver with the Red Sox. Josh, with the, uh, Josh Proust with the Cardinals. David Ivers with the Rockies and Brew Crew. Ed with the Braves. Charles with the Blue Jays. Chris M with the Twins. Uh, Guy, you have the White Sox. Nice. Chris W with the Mets. Adam with the Reds. Matthew with the Marlins. And Charles, you have my Dodgers. There you go. Let's get all this on one page here. There we go. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. Look at that. There was a deal done between Chris and Josh. So Josh is out of the Cardinal spot and is now into the twin spot. We'll put a T there so you know that that was part of a trade. So you can see, uh, if you're watching from home, see who draws first blood in this trade. Cardinals, twins. Let's print it. And then we'll pop this case open and then we'll see. There we go. We'll see which half we're going to do here. Second half coming up in a separate video right after this. So there's six on the left side, six on the right side. So one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. We'll select a die. I'm going to select that one right there. And it's going to be four. One, two, three, four, five, six. This we will save for next time. Mark it like that so you know it's the random team from the same case. All right, let's see what we got, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much for getting into the action. Appreciate it. I hope we're able to get some more. Unfortunately, this random, these two random team breaks are it. But we'll try to look for some more. We'll see if any fall off a truck or something like that. The big Bowman Sterling truck. And then uh, if we get some more, we'll definitely be posting it on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So keep an eye out there. I mean, you should just really just check the site every day, multiple times a day, because you never know what's gonna what's gonna magically appear or not appear.
All right, here's a quick look at the uh, the final printout once again. There you go. This is half case Ram Team 1. The picker teams are already done. Thanks, everybody. This will be our last bit of Bowman Sterling for a little bit, but hopefully we'll be able to get more. I hope. No guarantees, but we'll, we'll be trying. <laughs> Chubby, what's going on? How are you? Anthony K. Speckle to 99. And Anthony Pagas. Uh, Dodgers, Charles. I think this is the big Dodgers prospect I was thinking of. International prospect. So there you go. All card ship, of course. So if you see it, you'll get it. We've got Greg Jones to 150. That's your Rays autograph. That's going to be for Peter and the Tampa Bay Rays. There's a Kino rookie card and Tariq Skubal for the Tigers. Charles with the Tigers. Robel Garcia to 199 reveals a Xavier Edwards. Kind of hard to see the number in the bottom right-hand corner, but it looks like 106 out of 125 on that Wave Refractor Auto for the Rays. Peter with the Rays. Robel Garcia Refractor will go to Matt Gomes and the Cubs. Save that. There's Jordan Alvarez, Luis Robert. And Will Wilson, Giants edition. Is this his first autograph as a Giant? The Angels traded him up to San Francisco. Megan with the Giants. Supposed to be kind of a big, big prospect, maybe? Luis Robert for the White Sox guy got randomized to the White Sox in this one. Jordan Alvarez, I think, got uh, got called back up to the big club recently. Jason with the Strohs. Next box. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll go to the new channel and we'll watch OKC Clippers. I don't think there's any significant baseball happening yet. And yeah, Orioles ended up beating the Nationals 6-2. Strasburg taking the loss. Looks like we got Lakens getting the win for the O's. Kai saying Phillies and Mets in 30 minutes. Yeah, it looks like the Rays in Buffalo. They're, they're, they're about to start, so we're going to have a whole flurry of Couple of games and then actually most of the games are four o'clock start so maybe half an hour yeah we're gonna have a flurry of games happening in half an hour a lot of seven o'clock eastern starts Can I slice this one Alec Baum, or Bohm, I think, maybe. And Spencer Howard, I think, right? He, I think he's another youngster for the Phillies. Getting, getting starts today, according to Kai. Kyle Lewis autograph. That is strong. Chris Maxwell with the M's. There you go. He's been playing some excellent baseball. There he is again. So you get the auto and this rookie card. 
Maybe maybe we'll find some parallels. Cannon Smith, Yankees, who got randomized? The Bronx Bombers. Charles did. There you go, Charles. There you go. That's exactly who Chris Maxwell was chasing, the Kyle Lewis. There you go, man. Congrats. And this is for Charles. We got Grayson Rodriguez for the Orioles to 199. And Alec Manoa, gold, 8 out of 50 for the Buffalo Blue Jays, Charles. There's Nico Herner. Junior Fernandez for the Cardinals, 23 out of 25 blue for uh, Chris Maxwell. And Grant Gambrell is your Royals autograph for Chris Maxwell. I'll take it, Chris Maxwell. I'll take the take a, a COVID-free bear hug. I'm down. And Kyle Lewis has been playing some excellent baseball. Is he going to win Rookie of the Year? There's Dre Jameson. Mm, Jameson Peter with the Diamondbacks. All right. Dre Jameson goes once again to Peter and the Diamondbacks. Good luck, everybody. Box three of six. Random team one. I think the teams are already done. A couple other short little breaks happening after this one. And then we'll go through some more, more orders and then we'll see what else we can get into tonight. One. Josh Bruce, I'd like one. You shouldn't have traded Josh. I don't know. We still have one, two, three, four boxes left. You gotta play to the whistle, Josh. Gotta play to the whistle. I don't know. I'm terrified of trading. I don't know why people do it. <laughs> I, I get so nervous. There's Bryson Stott, Phillies, Chris Maxwell, Last Spot Mojo. Things are going great here in California, Colton. It's a little toasty today, to be honest with you. Usually the coast is a little bit, a little bit mild, temperate, but we're we're hitting mid eight or low to mid eighties along the coast, which means it must be even hotter inland. Twenty one out of twenty five, Gavin Lux and Bobby Witt Jr., Chris Maxwell with the Royals. Randomizer kind. Bobby Wood Jr. for you. And who gets the blue Gavin Lux? That's going to be for Charles. There's Bo Bichette Speckle. Numbers down there. 25 out of 99. And Grant Gambrell again. This time out of 150 for the Royals. Chris. It's 117 for Arthur. But yeah, but that's that's to be expected in Phoenix. Right? Mid 80s not to be expected. This close to the the mighty Pacific Ocean. There's Luis Robert and Andrew Vaughn for the White Sox. So a couple nice cards for the White Sox guy with that one. Oh, 
Although it's a dry heat in Phoenix, I can I can I can do a dry heat. There's Jaron Duran Duran and another Kyle Lewis rookie card. Humidity that that's that's something that is that is very difficult for me to handle. Red Sox Oliver Ollie with the Red Sox on the board. Three boxes to go. Five fifteen autographs to go. Five autos per box. A lot left. A lot of time left. Is that forty percent humidity? I feel like that's. I feel like that's a lot, isn't it? Maybe it's not. Maybe forty sounds like it's more than it really is, but I don't know. It's not like the bubble here in Orlando. I went to Disney World once when I was a kid. I remember going, stepping out of the airport with my folks and just being blasted right in the face with atmosphere. I thought I was, I thought I was like, oh, am I swimming? Feels like it. Can't do that, Chris. Ninety percent humidity in Bama? No way. No, I was born in Ohio, and then my folks moved us out to Southern California when I was really young. So I pretty much grew up here my entire life. I grew up a little east of, like, about an hour east of here. So if it was had more of that deserty sort of heat, about an hour east of here. I'm actually used to like those big triple digits, but the humidity, that's what gets me. Casey Mize to 75, and Logan Davidson, 40 out of 50. Gold, auto for the A's. Matt Gomes with the Athletics. Casey Mize, 40 out of 75. He might have an outside chance of maybe making an MLB debut this season, Charles. We got Cannon Smith, another one for Charles and the Yankees. Nico Horner for the Cubs. And another Bobby Witt Jr. for Chris Maxwell. Your number two overall pick from last year. And it's supposed to be the real deal. I think there are maybe Trevor Story comps with Bobby Wood Jr. Maybe there's Jordan Alvarez. Nice. Rookie auto for Jason. Maybe Bobby Wood Jr. is like a Trevor Story with a little bit of speed. Something like that. It's Jordan Alvarez. Great slugger here. There's Bob again. And there's Bryson Stott. Chris Maxwell, Phillies. Last spot mojo team. Okay, I'm not watching this G League game basically. There's barely any starters playing in this. Maybe MLB Network time? All right, 10 autographs to go. Jason, what's up? 118 in where? If it's dry though, you can do it. Oh yeah, Chris, you did spend some time here in LA, right? Sunset and Highland, it gets a little toasty in the summer in that area. Oh, it's the Santan Valley? Valley heat, though. You know, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Mother, the mother-in-law's B-Day. Um, 
Here's a fun fact, ladies and gentlemen. I was like, why the heck is there a city in the middle of Arizona? Why, why does Phoenix even exist? Apparently, uh, there's a river that goes through it. There was a lot of agriculture there, believe it or not. So, there you go. That's why that's that's why that place exists. Because I was I was not super familiar with the with the the Phoenix geography, and I was like, what the heck is out there? Why would that? And then many years ago, when I like was going to Phoenix, and I finally looked it up, and I was like, what agriculture? It's like yeah, back in the day, a lot of agriculture. Maybe some cattle farming too. Maybe some, do they grow cotton out there maybe? There's some agriculture, some, some sort of broad agri agriculturing happened out there. Did they set a record in Death Valley for heat? Yeah, there's a bit of a heat wave this week, at least in California. Stay cool, everybody. Greg Jones, Ray's, Peter. Cotton, corn, cattle, there you go, the three C's in Phoenix. There you go, boom. What did people do back in the like in the Wild West, Arthur? What did they, how did they stay cool? And there's Sheldon Nusi to 199, and Gus Varland 29 at 75 for the A's. Matt Gomes. They dug holes. Are you telling me like in in like Surprise Arizona where there were in the Wild West there were some Wyatt Earp is digging holes. Do you just hope that there's a cross for you? Just open some windows and hope like, ooh, look at this. J.J. Goss, Super Fractor, one of one for the Tampa Bay Rays. Peter Close. Wow. Look at that. Peter. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Damn, that is nice. Man, we better try to get more of this stuff. Come on, distributors. Hook us up with another case or two. Yeah, we've gotten too used to, to the AC. There's Jacob Amaya. Arthur's saying it wasn't as hot back then? Okay, what's not as hot back then? It's still like 95 degrees instead of 110 degrees? True, maybe it's all relative, Chris Maxwell is saying. Jacob Amaya goes to Charles. Maybe if you've never known what it, what AC is, you would just get used to it. Maybe you just get used to it. You're like, just be like hot enough for you and be like, yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? There's Marito Dubon. You know, everyone's sweating through their clothes, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Corbin Carroll, nice, 106 out of 150. Peter again, Diamondbacks. Oh uh, yeah, maybe they just jump into that river. A lot more water, cleaner water back then. You just cool off there. Mauricio Dubon for the Giants. Megan for the Giants. So if I time traveled Chris Maxwell back into, if I was in like Back to the Future 3 and went to the Wild West, I mean. I was Marty McFly, used to, used to all the, uh, all the modern air conditioning. I would never have survived. I guess hotter now because of Gore. Come on, Al. It's all his fault. This takes a lot of heat to run the internet that he built, Chris Maxwell. He uses a lot of energy. That's why they bury servers underground. Or inside a mountain. Or in a cargo, in like a shipping container at the bottom of the ocean. There's some places. Keep things cool. <laughs> some kid's gonna listen to this and be like, well, Joe said. 
That's why global. Do your research, kids. Don't listen to me. A lot of jokes here. A lot of dry humor here. All right. Final five autographs. Good luck, ladies. Good luck, gents. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for getting in. Let's start from right and move left. There's Tariq Scooball. Going to Charles and the Tigers. Tigers are hosting Cleveland tonight on Friday the 14th. We got Brendan McKay Speckle to 99. And Jackson Rutledge for the Nationals Indians combo going to Matt Gomes. Nats fell to the O's today, 6 to 2. Steven Strasburg imploding in the fifth inning. Brandon McKay Speckle will go to Peter and the Rays. Adley Rushman to 50 and a Pirate. We got Quinn Priester, the Buckos, Mike Tower with the Pirates. No, we, we are out of Sterling, Jarrell. We are out until we get some more. But then it'll probably most likely will be at a higher price if we even if we do get some more. This product was heavily allocated. Bobby Wood Jr. to one ninety nine and Josh Young for the Rangers, Chris Maxwell. This is why I tell everybody when you see pre orders or a new product go up, I would get in early and often. <laughs> because a lot of these products are, are heavily Allocated, we we request X amount of cases, and we don't always get what we want, you know. So buy early and often because the next round will most likely be either at a higher price or we won't even be able to get some in the next round. So early and often, folks, that's the sharp way to collect on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Final autograph behind Matt Manning is another Tariq Scooball autograph, 65 out of 150. Charles, you are starting your Tariq Scooball personal collection, your PC, whether you intended to or not. Whether you intended to or not, you're starting one. So now you're rooting for him. Now you want him to become a Hall of Famer because you want those graded out tens and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. Random team number one in the books. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.